Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. That's one way you can help me refresh, inspired, and keep me going. Now, if you find my videos interesting and important to your studies, also please don't forget to subscribe. Draw the influence line for the vertical deflection at point C of the simply supported beam shown below. EI is constant. So it's the given beam. Then we have uh, we have to place the unit load over C. Then this is the real beam. The reaction here is reaction times reaction at A, AX0. So AY times 12 equals 1 times 9, so AY is 3 fourths or 0.75. Then selecting this as our section, so by double integration, EI F double prime DC is equal to 3 fourths of X minus 1 times X minus 3. Integrating once, EI F DC prime is equal to 3 eighths of X squared minus one half of quantity x minus three square plus c sub one so by looking at the beam since a the origin is a support then there is no c sub two therefore integrating again ei fdc is equal to one eighth of x cube minus one six of quantity x minus three cube plus c sub one x then let's evaluate c sub 1 by setting x equals 12 y fdc is 0 so 0 equals 1 8 of 12 cube minus 1 6 of 9 cube plus c sub 1 times 12 12 minus 3 is 9 so c sub 1 is equal to negative 63 over 8 so substitute here ei fdc which is equal to ei fcd equals 1 8 of x cube minus 1 6 sub quantity x minus 3 cube plus c sub 1 times x minus 63 over 8 times x so sketching the influence line for vertical reaction at c so the equation of this elastic of this influence line is or influence curve is uh, 1 over 8 x cube 1 over EI times quantity 1 over 8x cubed minus 1 6 of quantity x minus 3 cubed minus 63 over 8 of x. So that's why when x is 3, then FCD, the value of FCD at x equals 3 in particular over C is 1 8 of 3 cubed minus 63 times 3 over 8 so we'll get negative 20.25 over ei then that's the influence line for vertical deflection at c in meters per in meter per kilonewton then by conjugate beam method so here is the conjugate beam 3 fourths times 12 is 9 over ei then 1 times 9 so 9 over ei also for the load so first let's solve for theta a considering the whole system so this is 3 fourths times x or 0.75 of x over ei while this is 1 times x minus 3 over ei or 1 over ei x minus 3 the moment of the unit load at this section D here. So, computing for theta A, con considering the whole system, summation moment B equals 0. So, theta A times 12 plus 1 half of 12 times 9 over EI times 4, moment arm is 1 third of 12, so 4, equals 1 half of 9 times 9 over EI, 1 third of 9 is 3. So, 1 half of 9 9 over EI times 3. Solving for theta A, theta A is negative 63 over 8 EI. We check here because C sub 1 over EI is the slope at A. Then considering 
section D, so and A to D, so we have F D C theta D, so that's F D C summation moment at D equals zero. So F D C plus one half of X minus three times one over E I X minus three times X minus three over three moment arm then equals one half equals theta a negative 63 over 8 ei x plus one half of x times 0.75 x over ei moment arm x over 3 simplifying transposing the, this to the right so it is the same as this so fdc equals fcd equals 1 over ei of x cube over 8 minus 1 6 quantity x minus 3 square cube minus 63 over 8 times x. So that's it for this problem.